students in this class we are going to see uh, special or advanced radiographic techniques and this is a content that comes under non restrictive testing and uh, specifically in today's class we are going to look into some of the concepts the working principles its limitations and advantages and its applications specific to fluoroscopy and when we go for this fluoroscopy testing it is considered to be one of the advanced mode of testing now it is a testing technique where real time detection of defects is done by the use of specialized fluorescent screen technology unlike the normal techniques in radioscopy what we are doing is we are using the x rays in detecting the defects where in the previous cases when we use x rays it is hard for the skilled person who is operating on it to directly interpret where the defects are it has its own process that has to be completed to finally coming to a conclusion related to the interpretation of the defects but when we come for fluoroscopy it has its own advantage because it gives real time detection of defects and this technique is also known as radioscopy and majorly the image of the defects in the component is produced by the process of ionization in the radiation detector to have this process usually fluorescent screen is provided which is an array of solid state sensors and these sensors has the capacity a capability of capturing the image and the image thus obtained is displayed on a computer screen or a television screen from where the user can easily detect and identify the defects that is present in the component moreover this particular method provides continuous inspection of objects and therefore it is also called as real time radiography shortly it is known as rtr in this fluoroscopy process the normal x ray films what we are using in radiography process is replaced by a fluorescent salt screen by the use of this fluorescent salt screen the end user gets the flexibility of getting the image of the test specimen and he can visually see it and can interpret the results that is associated with it the x rays that are passing through the object are made to fall on this fluorescent material thereby exciting it and it produces bright spots in the more heavily radiated areas the fluorescent screen may be viewed directly or by means of a mirror or by using a camera or a closed circuit television this whole setup of x ray tube is to be encased in a protective shielding to avoid any contact with the radiations in this particular process of fluoroscopy the x rays that are passing through the object is made to fall on this fluorescent material and when the x rays falls on this fluorescent material yes. the material x x gets excited and it produces a bright spots in heavily irradiated areas so wherever there is no material available it shows a difference between the processing time when we come for working principles this shows the flow chart of uh, the working principle where we can see we have basically a system where the end user has the ability of looking into the interpretations of uh, fluoroscopy end result and we have an extra control unit from where the x rays are made to fall on the component as you see on the slide and once the x ray passes through the component it is made to fall on image intensifier this image intensifier is nothing but a fluorescent material which is gets activated by the nature by the strength of x rays falls on the passing through the component 
and finally the from the image intensifier the signals are processed to the microprocessor in the microprocessor the signals are converted to a form which can be easily interpreted by the end user so this is the principle in a nutshell how the fluoroscopy works when we come for the advantages in the case of fluoroscopy it provides us the immediate viewing of the defects in the component and second advantage this particular process has that ability to carry out the inspection in moving parts or in action the third advantage is its films are least expensive and the processing cost that is involved in this process is very low comparatively to other radiography process and uh, the possibility of comparing the image obtained with any reference images if the end user is having that can be done in this particular proce process therefore the end user can have the current image obtained by the fluoroscopy process and he may be having a reference image by considering these two images he can make a better interpretations which is not possible in other cases of radiographies coming for limitations the major limitation of this fluoroscopy is its in initial cost of equipment it is very high to make the initial setup and second limitation it is not portable in nature and we have to make a special cabinet enclosing this entire setup because it is exposure to radiation is not avoidable so we have to make a special cabinet which has the tendency of having the specified regulations of radiations to be captured within this cabinet so as to avoid any hazardous ill effects of the radiations during the process when you come for applications it is widely used in thin wall section castings welding assemblies coarse sandwich constructions plastic parts in the case of plastic parts this particular process is used for inspecting the presence of any metal particles or cavities inside the plastic parts when we come for electrical equipments this process is used for switches capacitors and radio tubes and when we want to have much more detail about this fluoroscopy there are three links i have provided you where you can have a detailed additional information related to this lecture notes and with this i conclude on this process of fluoroscopy have a nice day and god bless